Is it ever too late? Some of us may think that we are so much into our own history of life that we cannot change. We are so into our traditions, into our habits, that we can never change. The reality is that we can always change. It is never too late for change. Let me share with you a story about a rabbi whose name was Rabbi Akiva. It was at 40 years old when he did not know the Hebrew alphabet. He grew up an ignoramus, knew nothing about Judaism. But at the age of 40 years old, he found himself passing by water that was dripping on a rock. And he observed how the water who is so fine and the rock that is so solid that they seem to be worlds apart. But yet he noticed that there was a continuous, a constant dripple of water on the rock that eventually a dent became in the rock. And Rabbi Akiva noticed this and thought to himself, water is such a fine liquid compared to the hard rock. Yet it was able to make a dent in this hard rock. He concluded from that event that even though I may be 40 years old, I may be set in my ways, I may be stubborn as a rock, I may have created habits that there's no way I could break out of, I may be so ignorant, but you know I'm 40 years old now? Even though I may be as hard as a rock, but I think of Torah as water. And if water is able to affect this rock, I think that I need to begin studying Torah. Because I think that when I begin studying, even at the age of 40, that I will be able to be penetrated. My habits will be able to be broken and I will be able to become a changed person. And this is exactly what Akiva did. He went on to begin studying Judaism at age 40 years old. After spending seven long years studying, he repeated, he came home and his wife told him, go back, study some more. And after seven years of studying again, he became the star student. Not only that, he became the head rabbi, the author of what we know is the Talmud. What made that happen was him realizing that even at age 40, it is never too late. It is never too late to change our ways and to embrace a new direction. The Judaism that we know today, the Torah that we know today, is through Rabbi Akiva, through his sacrifice. What made the dented rock wasn't just the water, it was the continuous flow of the water that created that rock. So we need to study and continue on studying and continue growing in the life. It is never too late. God bless you. God loves you.